Is RPA all about FT replacement or is there something more than that? Well, the direct answer is that today it's about FTA replacement. Uh, if you just look at the semantics, it's about um, you know how many people can I replace with a bot? Mm -hmm. A ratio of a bot replacing three individuals or five individuals is, is parlayed around. But that can't be what it's about long term. RPA will go in one of two directions. Um, it'll either get more tightly linked with business process management and dynamic case management in the sense that it'll stop looking at one particular point in a process, that human being at the desktop, and start looking at the overall end-to-end -end process. Um, so the existing tools will have to create a broader visualizations and broader analytics to uh, understand that entire process. So that's one direction. The second direction is more interesting. It's really um, what is its role in cognitive, in artificial intelligence. As we know, RPA doesn't have any self-learning capability. It doesn't have AI algorithms. But when you're using AI to um, give customers advice, uh, to create really important decisions that might um, be specific to a customer or to a, um, a back office operation, there's often a lot of work created um, that is perfect for RPA to do. So RPA will remain an execution element the more it gets linked to uh, natural language processing and AI algorithms.